Welcome back. This is Tuesday Lunchtime. I want to return now to a story from about two weeks ago that raised the ire of the nation. The fallout from the Clicks Unilever hair race advertisement scandal continues, and now serious questions are being asked about the pressured relationship between advertising agencies and their clients. Raisa Chohan is a senior lecturer of marketing at the University of Cape Town and in a thought-provoking article suggests what she terms is an unspoken issue in the relationship. She terms it opportunistic behavior by both parties, in other words, the client and the advertising agency, to, she says, the deliberate detriment of each other. Raisa, good afternoon to you and uh, welcome. This opportunistic behavior that you talk about, what is it and what is driving it? Thank you, Jeremy, and thank you for having me, inviting me to speak today on ENCA. So opportunistic behavior is basically when one party acts to their advantage, yet to the detriment of the other party. In any relationship, both parties have goals which they strive towards. And when one party prioritizes their own goals, they sometimes do this to the detriment of the other party. So in the advertising industry, there's a growing issue where we know that clients want to improve their return on investment. That's their goal, that's their priority. Whereas advertising agencies inherently want to be creative, they want to showcase their creativity, and sometimes they prioritize winning awards rather than doing what is best for the brand or for the company's return on investment. Of their clients. So opportunistic behavior does occur in the advertising industry. This is based on a study which I published in the International Journal of Advertising. And do you think that is one of the reasons possibly uh, why ads like this Unilever clicks ad were allowed to be made and then found their way into the public domain? So Jeremy, uh, in my professional capacity, you know, I won't be able to comment on exactly why the advert was allowed from Unilever's perspective. But what I can say is that I do, I do believe that the role of clients and ad agencies in this particular scenario could have played a role in why the advert was released. What happens is that when each party prioritizes their own goals, they tend to not communicate with the other party in terms of what the brand's objectives are, you know, are they working towards a mutual benefit? And then what I believe might have happened is that one party prioritized their goal, which was possibly, you know, simply releasing the advert without a good understanding of the consequences or just, you know, how important it was to better understand what the content they were releasing will, what the impact of the content they will, will, they will be releasing will have on society. So by, by, by not prioritizing the other party's goals as well, they ended up releasing an advert that I believe wasn't, you know, in, if you take an advertising industry or an advertising campaign, you get various checkpoints. Advertising industries are known to be very rigid because there are numerous processes involved. So what might have happened is that one party prioritized their own goal without speaking to the other party, or in some cases, what happens in client ad agency relationships is that because of the power dynamic, where clients have a power over agencies, sometimes agencies don't have a say in what gets released because they need the client to pay them at the end of the day. So I do believe that this issue in the advertising industry might have contributed to why the advert was mm. released. This uh, push-pull relationship, the battle between creativity on the one hand and return on investment on the other, isn't a new issue. It's been in the ad industry for a long time. I would suggest to you, though, that given the current economic situation that we and the rest of the world find ourselves in, there's no quick solution to this. Uh, it's, it's going to continue, and the consequence is probably uh, more ads like the one that we've seen. Definitely, Jeremy. So. As I, I, when I mentioned the, um, the the goals of each party earlier, it's inherent, right? So clients 
want to improve the ROI, their return on investment, and agencies want to showcase their creativity. So you're absolutely right. The issue is not going to go away anytime soon. What I believe the industry needs is to work towards collective goodwill. So to use their objectives or to use the fact that clients are wanting to improve the ROI and agencies are wanting to be creative, but to use it to the benefit of society, especially today where we need it more than ever, given COVID and given the negative impact that has had on the economy and on society in general. So, yes, the issue will, will not go away. Um, but what the, what the industry can do is share content in a way that makes people happy, you know, and and in doing so, the client will will ensure that customers have a more positive perception towards their brand. And I am going to leave there. Thank you very much indeed. Raisa Chohan is a senior lecturer of marketing at the University of Cape Town. Thank